Joining me now here on the MMA Report is a fire that's going to be a part of Valor FC 63 coming up on September 6th. She takes on Carmen Carball is Rebecca Bergman. Rebecca, I appreciate the time. I had a chance to talk to your opponent. Uh, I guess the best way to say uh, you two are polar opposites. And, and anyone who goes on your Instagram feed will uh, you know, see how you, you've talked about what you plan to bring here uh, in, in your pro debut. But, uh, you know, in terms of how you started on this martial arts journey, when did it actually start? Um, it actually started when I was 19 and I, uh, met my current coach and boyfriend, Eric Olson, and he was training people. And back when I was like 15, I was doing Tiger Showman's and I always wanted to fight and they never put me in a fight because they kind of put me on back burner and had their own favorites. But, um, that's few and far between, but whatever. Uh, I just started when I was 19. I trained my hardest. I got like 25 kickboxing fights and two MMA fights. Um, amateur, so I'm two and zero in MMA amateur, so 27 fights altogether, and uh, I just loved it ever since I got into the sport. Is there a particular aspect of of martial arts of why you love it so much? Um, it's a very good outlet I have for me since I have a lot of stress and uh, you know anger built up from past experiences and everything, but uh, I really enjoy it, and you know it's just it's just a way for me to let loose, so to speak, you know. Of course, that, that last amateur fight just, just a couple of months ago, was it kind of after that fight, and you mentioned about everything else you've done in combat sports, it was just like uh, you, Eric, and the team said the time is now? Say that one more time, I'm sorry. In, in terms of your last amateur fight, after that fight was over, was it uh, you, Eric, and the entire team say, you know what, the, the time is now, Let, let's go pro? Yeah, pretty much, because I already had four people like pull out and not want to fight me, so... Um, I guess I name a, made my mark in the fight scene in MMA, and uh, I'm really looking forward to having this pro fight. But I have some bad news to tell you guys, and I know you probably didn't hear about it, but I just was heard about it yesterday. So um, apparently the girl I was supposed to fight, she got her neck injury, so the fight is postponed till November 1st, unfortunately. But um, I have a two-fight deal with them, so I have another fight coming up in January with uh, the girl named the valkyrie after this one carmen so um yeah that's that that's what's been going on uh, fr- is it is it frustration the fact that you've been you know you know working so hard to get ready for next week and now you got to kind of wait a little longer yeah but it gives me more time to train and practice and you know get ready for for her to get back into gear you know you know and, and i mentioned uh, you you talk about you know the issues with getting fights. Do you take that as a compliment that people don't want to fight you or is it frustrating? Yes. Um, more so it's a compliment cause I scare people. <laughs> well, why, you know, why, why do you, th- is it, you just think they're just scared to step into, you know, the cage or ring with you because they've, you know, they, they've seen, um, you know, what you've done throughout your martial arts journey. Yes. Yes. Very much so. Because, I feel like I've made my mark and I made uh, a statement by being 2-0 in an amateur MMA and big 2-0. Like, I, I won these r- rounds by 27-30. So, um, against grapplers, which everybody thought they would just get me down right away and they think I have no grappling, but I, I have some insight on that. So, I've been working on my ground game as well. And, and you know, this matchup that now is in November – it was striker versus grappler. Um, do you think that, you know, Carmen was looking at you as, okay, you know what? I maybe thinking that your ground game isn't what you, you know, it is. And maybe she was underestimating your abilities. Yes. I think a lot of people do underestimate my abilities. Um, cause I've seen it as far as interviews and the way they post the videos of training as well. So, um, I'm glad I kind of put out a mysterious, like kind of have them guess who, you know, kind of mentality towards me. And if they underestimate me, they underestimate me. I really don't give a crap. So it is what it is. What What would you want the MMA fan to know about you? Say that one more time. What would you want the MMA fan to know about you, about, you know, who you are as a, as a fighter or, or as a person? Well, I want them to know I'm as real as it gets when it comes to the fight scene. I don't play any games. I don't beat around the bush. And I, I don't kiss the ring, as they say. 
So a lot of people underestimate me, like I said, and they think I can't grapple cool. Uh, grapple with me and see who I train with. I mean, it is what it is. You, you mess with the bowl, you get the horns, you know? Rebecca, I really appreciate the time. Uh, look forward to seeing the fight in November, the pro debut. Uh, of course, let everyone know yeah. you can follow you out on social media. If there's anybody you want to uh, shout out, the, the floor is yours. So I want to shout out to Maxim and Ice with Terrace, uh, Anthony Giacchina, Eric Olson, and a couple of my sponsors. I have sponsoring me, Think Tank, um, Keto Fit, and and I want to also shout out to my good friend Christian Acerbo that also has been helping me through my MMA career. Rebecca, I appreciate time. And, have a- and se- I'm sorry, one more. <laughs> and Secret Gentleman's Club in Deer Park. And awesome. I have more fights than years alive, so... <laughs> Also, Rebecca, I really appreciate the time and uh, look forward to seeing the fight in November. All right. Thank you very much for having me.